So, first of all, let me give you an explanation about the restructure. Actually, the restructure is a strong application in modeling. And if you are dealing with, I mean, if your purpose is to deal with modeling and designing and coordinating with um, architecture and mechanics and electrics and not getting involved in fabric workshops, Revit can be great for you, but and of course Revit is wonderful in the fields of concrete workshops, but actually in the fields of metal. And Revit is not useful for those who want to get involved in metal shops. And as I said before, here in Revit, you can only do create models. And you're not able to do numbering, single part, single part, assemble part, main part, and or to setting or setting outputs smartly in Revit. You're not able to do this in Revit smartly. So this is the construction of Revit and advanced steel as it is explained by its name and as you know advanced steel is related to the metal in which you can deal with metal scales however you can model some parts in concrete and wood but for example here, here you don't have reinforcing bar or items for example which are related to um, concrete structures but you can find some basic topics for example like reinforcing bar, I don't know, slab, walls, foundation, except the concrete items. But advanced steel is wonderful in modeling metal structures. And since the AutoCAD is a platform, the process of modeling is so easy. And you got some options, for example, out of numbering, out of shop, and it is not that much hard to learn. Actually, the Tecla structure is an is a IP is a BIM software which is old and common between users among users and actually I think Tecla does not um, need to be explained since it has satisfied the expectations and in a way that it has met users' needs but you know there are some advantages and disadvantages. For example, in Revit, you can, I mean, the process of creating models is so easy and the speed of the modeling is so high, but on the contrary, you can find, cannot find metal shops, but actually in advanced steel, you can find metal items, I mean, great metal items, but we can concrete, but actually, I don't want to talk about Tecla since I'm, I'm not specialized in Tecla in a way that I only know some general things but I can explain more about Revit and Advanced Steel. Anyway here let me tell you the main difference between these. If you're working with Revit structure as I said before you can create or model concrete shops or models very well in Revit structure but actually in metal items as you are not able to shop items there you can find the option of, I mean, a, a kind of plugin named Advanced Steel or Explore Advanced Steel. Then you can um, transfer your Revit file into Advanced Steel. And then in Advanced Steel, you can work on documentations and connections and then export the file. So you can do all of the settings which are related to connections or documentations and then export it. So as I said, uh, these two are synced to each other and this is a, um, their first advantage by the plugin of Explorer Advanced Steel. And your last files don't do not need to be deleted or to be revised and stuff like that. So this was the advantage between working with Revit and Advanced Steel. But if you're working with Tecla, you have to work with the format of IFC. But the plugin to use IFC files is not accessible in all of the versions and all the times. Especially in some of the versions of Tecla, you may find some problems in working with the uh, plugin. So in Tecla, you have to work with IFC type. And there is not a mutual connection between Tecla and Revit, for example. For example, if you import or export your file from or to Revit, you can't revise your file. 
and you can only consider it as an element which you cut it in your workspace since you're not able to revise it or shop or connection or documentation or stuff like that but I emphasize that you may find some plugins to send or receive files from or to Revit and Tegla I mean to transfer your file between Revit and Tegla but the plugins are not, access are not ac accessible always and they are hard to find to be found and you got some difficulties and another point here is that Revit structure and advanced still softwares are out of disk products and some tools are the same with each other and since they are produced by the same company they recognize the data and information or files from each other better I mean the transformation is more successful 